Welcome back to Frankie's School of Dentistry, sponsored by frank-stefano.com. Please subscribe to the newsletter linked to support oral health education. Jokes aside, we've been covering dental tooth stuff for the past few weeks, wisdom teeth, root canals, dental fillings, but we never really went over that basic first step in understanding how to keep your teeth healthy in general, mainly preventing cavities. If you're curious about whitening your teeth, I already covered that over one year ago, and depending on your natural tooth color, plaque coverage, you may need to use unnatural methods to achieve the typical bleach white movie star smile. Now, you know, my teeth are pretty white right now, and all I've been doing is just brushing my teeth with mineral water, maybe a couple times a week. I'll use the tooth powder I have on frankiesnaturals.com, but no cleanings, no bleach, very, very natural, minimal, and I'm eating cookies, sugar every day. Yet, what we know as cavities, dentists refer to as dental caries, tooth decay, a disease affecting the teeth characterized by demineralization and cavitation leading to limitations in function, if severe enough, compromising facial aesthetics. You know, I felt bad. You know, I brought that up in the wisdom uh, tooth video last week, and a lot of you guys had recessed jaws, and uh, you know, it's an unfortunate consequence of our modern dentistry. And this is not a one-way process. You know, there is a continuous cycle of demineralization and remineralization. However, if the demineralization process predominates, that's where you end up with cavitation, aka cavities. And as with any natural function in our metabolism, our environment greatly determines this, you know, which is why some children have their adult teeth rotting out as soon as they get them, and others live to 90 years old with perfect teeth. Our goal here is to understand what sets these two extremes apart and how to achieve that ideal in our modern context. Now, dentist's solution to that problem, which is basically a band-aid just masking the issue, fluoride. And we did a video titled Fluoride, Mind Control of the Masses. Simply, you know, there's the chemical sodium fluoride that they put in our water supply, which is damaging our teeth and our bodies. Calcium fluoride, the naturally occurring agent. But there are plenty of non-fluoride remineralizing agents these dentists could be using, even xylitol. I'm sure most of you know that, the artificial sweetener. Most of these non-fluoride remineralizing agents are composed of calcium and phosphorus, two very important minerals comprising skeletal tissue. And we also have some other elements in the halogen family, such as bromine, which are just as toxic as fluoride. And I've even heard some people making their own with magnesium, uh, which is what we do in that tooth powder for Frankie's Naturals. Uh, but as we mentioned last week, you know, people have been brainwashed to believe things like your hair and teeth aren't actually part of your body and have nothing to do with your internal health, as if they can't be treated naturally through diet, through exercise, through lifestyle, you know, requiring outside intervention through doctors and medicine. Most people know that collagen is contained in your skin, it's good for your hair health, but it's also contained in your teeth. And another video we did speaking about how to optimize collagen and how it has nothing to do with those agrochemical waste collagen supplements. You basically want to consume more protein, but I'm sure some rats are going to start selling collagen under the guise of dental health. Hey, after all, it is white. Yeah, so is my cock. Why don't you suck on that? It can be overwhelming to think about all of these health issues and it gets really complicated, but if you can understand that the body basically needs every single nutrient, vitamin, mineral, fatty acid to perform metabolic functions optimally, you know, we can then isolate certain nutrients specific to this issue that people tend to be deficient in. This one, it's fairly obvious. You know, the standard American diet is lacking certain nutrients, has excess of others. You know, too much calcium and vitamin A, not enough magnesium, not enough phosphorus, vitamin K2, vitamin D3, even protein in general. I, I mean, the standards of American diet is so deficient in every single thing that who knows what it is, but these are just the likely culprits. You know, if you were following a vegan diet, for instance, you know, you're simply removing 
the little nutrition contained in animal foods that the average American eats. Now, if you're following carnivore, you're likely on track for good oral health, but could still be missing a few things and imbalances will occur one, two, three, four years down the line. A few of those we just mentioned, magnesium, K2, D3, are required for the activation and absorption of calcium. That's why so many people have diseases resulted from calcification of various tissues. You know, the conventional wisdom gets people to load up on calcium without getting the full picture. Phosphorus is a calcium antagonist, and like calcium, you know, we store quite a bit of phosphorus in our bones and teeth, approximately 60% of the calcium amount. And depending on which of those specific nutrients you're missing will dictate how healthy or unhealthy you are, as well as how potential issues materialize. Uh, one thing I mentioned in my collagen video, you know, the consumption of proteins and amino acids in general, is usually enough to fix most people's health issues. You know, think of what we're made of protein, you know, meat. Even the skeletal and bone tissue is mostly proteins. One excellent example of this is, you know, you can look up studies finding dairy products, especially milk, promoting oral health. You know, despite milk containing lactose sugar, milk has all of those nutrients we just mentioned in incredible amounts, uh, mainly if it's grass-fed, even better, you know, raw from a local farm. And we've covered that phosphorus stuff in some mineral videos over the past few months. You know, how a carnivore diet is high in phosphorus and can actually deplete magnesium. Uh, well, it can deplete magnesium, but mostly calcium in the long term. Magnesium just because the diet doesn't have enough. Calcium because the phosphorus is antagonistic. To me, this is a basic understanding of what the problem is. So how do we practically address that? One, only use and drink a high quality mineral water and I actually just started using recently. I've always drank high quality water, but you know, I would brush my teeth and rinse my mouth out with the tap water and the chlorine and the fluoride in the tap water is going to disrupt your oral microbiome. And what I didn't mention earlier, broken down by acids produced by certain bacteria. So a big factor in tooth decay could just be poor gut microbiome health, which translates to poor oral microbiome health, and water is one of the worst culprits. You know, I mentioned in the beginning of this video, I literally just brush my teeth with mineral water and a water flosser with mineral water, not even using the tooth powder every night. And you know, you know, there's nothing wrong with my teeth right now. And the investment on that mineral water, even for a year, is probably going to be less than the dental cleanings and what you'd spend going to the doctors. Number two, is increase the protein in your diet and supplement digestive enzymes if you aren't seeing immediate improvements. You know, sometimes the problem is actually the absorption of the nutrients and not the person's diet. You know, reducing EMF Wi-Fi is a huge factor in improving this digestion as well. And I feel like a broken record because I'm saying, oh, there's a video on that, there's a video on this that I made. You could just search any of these keywords, enzymes, Wi-Fi EMF with my name on YouTube and you'll find an in-depth and thorough explanation on that specific topic. Number three is supplement those minerals and vitamins we just mentioned that you cannot obtain naturally. You know, vitamin D3, we have limited sun exposure. Magnesium, we have low soil quality. Uh, vitamin K2, fermented foods, lack of animal protein. You know, we said the phosphorus is in meat. Uh, you can get calcium from mineral water or dairy if you think you're lacking calcium. And one thing that I've kind of overlooked in this is poor gut health and the importance of probiotic foods. Now I've been drinking water kefir you know, for the past few months and it's the most dramatic transformation because the lactobacillus is repopulating my gut with good bacteria and preventing the negative bacteria. I believe the primary one that causes cavities is streptococcus and lactobacillus actually inhibits that. Now I'm sorry I know a lot of you guys have been waiting for the water kefir to ship out, but I'm a little backed up. I'm trying to make some more, uh, so hopefully we'll have it back in stock next week. And if you guys have been waiting for that, uh, I'm sorry, just please be patient for a couple more days. Uh, but the reason I brought up that water kefir is because it's actually sugar water, but the bacteria in the kefir consume the sugar and turn it into B vitamins and more bacteria. Back to the supplements. Of course, as most of you, I prefer the natural route, but 
I would not have fixed my health problems if I had attempted that natural route. You know, supplements have their place, especially when it's more and more difficult to get nutrients naturally due to food quality. You could be super deficient in something you didn't think about, like selenium, you know, a mineral not as relevant to oral health, although every single one plays a role. You know, that could be your issue. So using supplements as fillers when you don't have the food in your diet are one reason. Another is just to kickstart the recovery and speed things up. You know, it could take five, six, seven months, a year, two years, who knows, to start feeling better with just food, whereas incorporating enzymes and supplements compact that to a one to two month period. You know, this is why I have these supplements on organsupplements.com. You know, as with all of my businesses, I'm trying to improve the health of everyone with products that either don't exist or I'm making those products affordable. So everything that I've mentioned in this video, you know, from food quality, da, 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 just go to frank check out all the links to the various companies, you know, watch other YouTube videos on my channel. Uh, if you want to, just reach out to me via email or Instagram. I'll try to get back to you guys as much as I can. Uh, but thank you guys for joining me today. Uh, please leave a comment down below, drop a like on the video, subscribe so that YouTube can unsubscribe you next week. And also click that notification bell so YouTube doesn't notify you of my videos. That being said, subscribe to the newsletter on frank stefanocom I'll try to send out some more to stay in touch with you guys. Thanks again. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Oh,